How do you like this? <laughs> all right. uh, I just, I can't escape winter. I don't know what's going on, but anyhow, I'm in, I'm in Cornwall, Ontario right now. There's, there's the general, uh, it's snowing. You can't really see it on the camera very well, but it's snowing and, uh, that really sucks, but I'm out here having a smoke in the snow and, uh, it's very cold. It's minus 10, feels like about minus 15 or 16 and it's just ugly. And, uh, was a crap drive today. It, was, it snowed pretty well from when I left Perth Andover until there was a there was a little bit of a respite uh, mid Quebec, but then after after uh, Montreal, just snowstorm again, and it's still snowing here. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take you inside my my room here. I came out to make a phone call, talk to uh, Guillaume de Silva about uh, some upcoming events. And, uh, well, you're really on the road with me now. This is, this is life on the road, boys. Motel room to motel room. And the uh, security do door not working the way it's supposed to. Uh, here we go stop that bastard beeping so yeah it's been a, a long day not too bad but put about 700 kilometers in and uh, so now I'm just relaxing here in the room and gonna spend the evening uh, watching catching up on I'm binge watching Supernatural <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> so last night last night was an amazing gig the the Tobik River Trading Company uh, new owners and management there they make their own beer they make their own coffee and they're they're talking about possibly uh, starting a distillery because uh, the man is a single malt fan like I am. He had some really good Okotoshin there last night. And uh, thanks, Bob. Appreciate it, buddy. And uh, the the show was sold out. And Heidi, that runs the uh, Larley Creek Hollow Blue, which is tied to that venue. Uh, festival I've been playing for years. She she was there, of course, and putting it on and everything. And she uh, she's just an amazing woman. She's she's all about the the art and the music and and uh, the the young couple that owns the place. You're gonna hear more about them. Uh, so just a tea. I'm just throwing this out there because it's probably gonna happen. But it looks like we're gonna actually have. Kelly's Mountain Coffee beans that you can you can buy you'll be able to buy from Tobik River Trading Company, and a Molly May beer, which will be a pilsner. I've requested a pilsner, and uh, so there's going to be a, there's going to be a partnership formed between us and the and the trading company and Larley Creek Hullabaloo, which is really cool because we don't really have. Um, that kind of, of uh, par those kind of partners on the channel. Uh, but I think it's going to be a benefit to everyone. And especially, I think, to us, because it's just a good, they're good people to associate with. And they, you know, it's always good to just have a big network of friends. And that's what YouTube, you know, ultimately ends up being about is a, is a, is a huge, yeah, you can get it in India. You'll be able, he, he'll, he can ship anywhere in the world anything. So, yeah, you'll be able to order it worldwide when, it's, when it comes out. I don't know when he's going to do it, but we're going to talk more about it. And, um, and also, tonight, t today, besides this vlog about the tour, um, so first I'm going to tell you a story. So last night I'm doing uh, Charlottetown, and I always do the same intro 
for Charlottetown. I tell the story about how my buddy, it's a true story. My buddy called me up complaining about his impending divorce. And uh, when I get to the part about, so he called me up to tell me that his wife of eight years was leaving him. This young malice girl in the crowd it was dead silent. Everybody's laughing, but all of a sudden she went, woohoo! And she put her hand up and twirled her hand up in the air. And I thought that was the funniest thing ever. Nobody, I'd never seen anybody respond that way to that line. And as I went through the story more, she, I was talking about, you know, okay, yeah, so she left him. And uh, she she pipes up again and goes, well, there's a reason she left him and you. <laughs> I almost died laughing. It was hilarious. And uh, so I, I got to talk to her after the show. She, her, she was there with uh, two or three other First Nations women, and they were just the greatest people. Uh, they were all malice I'm pretty sure. They were, I'm not sure if any of them were Mi'kmaq. Uh, but we had a great talk about the old ways and the medicine and the her going to healers and... and uh, she was, she's 40 years old. She looked like she was much younger than that. She kind of told me a story of her life. And and uh, she's very close friends with the venue owners and, and Heidi and everybody knows them. And so that was a tremendously good meeting. This It was just fun. And she gave me some words in Maliseet. And I gave her my Mi'kmaq words, which, well, the one I use the most is Dubadet, which is means potato. <laughs> I was charged years ago by the First Nations at Eskasoni when they made me an honorary member of the band there to get a word from every nation that I met out on the road. And I've done that. So it's it's been a lot of fun. I've met a lot of different nations and bands in North America, from Ojibwe to Blackfoot, Cree, uh, Lakota, you name it. All sorts of, all sorts of them. And... Uh, the one thing I always take away from those meetings is is just how much those people know. Like, it's just really kind of scary. Uh, we sh maybe ought to think about falling back on their wisdom a little more, especially nowadays when we're in the trouble we're in everywhere. But uh, so it was a good day, good show, good day, good travel day today. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so tomorrow night... Uh, I'm going to be playing in Napanee. Uh, if you check my website and uh, uh, you'll find the date on there, go on the go on the links and find out. There's only about 19 tickets sold, and they're a little worried. And it's strange because that's a big market for me. Every time I go to the Napanee Kingston area, it's just sold out. So it, either people just aren't quite ready to go back out to a show here, or there's something else going on in town because it's a small, it's a small area. So anyhow, if, if you want to check it out, please do. And I, I'm going to do some more posts. I'll, I'll do some, I'll do some posts on Facebook and stuff. And, uh, yeah, so there you go. And, uh, so we're, we got, what do we got now? Eight and a half minutes. So that's about as long enough for our diary entry today. I got a, a very special thing that I did today. I stopped and visited somebody. And I'm going to upload that as a separate video today for you guys. And uh, I'll be taking some uh, special photographs, possibly some video, uh, you know, whatever I can manage uh, on the phone and uh, whatever I got here uh, to, to, uh, to get up to for the uh, members, the, the, uh, the private members of my channel. So if you want to see that stuff, you got to join. It's only a couple bucks a month or something for the lowest level. But uh, everybody, I think, all levels get the free, you know, private uh, photographs and posts that, are, that only members can see. So, uh, yeah, so we'll be shooting some stuff up there for you guys. But I wanted to make this vlog public because, well, I want more subscribers. If you haven't hit subscribe, please do. This tour is going to be quite long. There, there's, And I am not doing life and music anymore, so I felt I owed my viewers something from my life. So this is it. You're literally going to hear from me every day. I'm going to be in a different place every day. Well, mostly. And, uh, yeah. And I'm just going to share what it's like out here because it's fun. And I missed it. I didn't realize how bad I missed it till this morning. I get up 
and felt great and was hungry first thing in the morning. I'm never hungry first thing in the morning except when I'm on the road. And, uh, yeah, I just, I'm having a good time. And then, and I, I played pretty good last night, I thought. I got, and so, yeah, I'm just doing my thing. And uh, three, see now, four shows in a row. Tuesday, uh, Tuesday's Napany, Wednesday's Use Room. That's going to be a big one. Thursday is the Moonshine Cafe in Oakville. That's going to be a big one. If it's not sold out already, it will be soon. And then for the Kingsville Folk Festival down in uh, around Leamington there. Uh, uh, I'm not sure where the venue is, but you can check on my website to find that out. Um, and uh, and then Saturday, I get to cross over the border into the U.S. And I'm going to go down to Indianapolis for uh, five days in Indianapolis with my buddy Dave Baghdad who run, who uh, does the radio syndicated radio show uh, Kitchen Party Kaylee great mandolin player and we're going to do a bluegrass guitar workshop and two concerts there and then on to Norman Oklahoma and then on to Tucson Arizona and it's going to be a great trip and I'm finally going to get into warm weather holy shit I'm so sick of cold uh I'm just so sick of cold so Anyhow, love you. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Stay tuned. In the next hour or so, there's going to be a secondary video go up of uh, where I was visiting today. Hee, 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 hee. And we'll talk to you soon. All right. Love you. Bye.